Uh, hello everybody, Green Mountain Gold Trap Joseph and I'm at the river for the first time out with the Green Mountain Gold Trap. I've been out, I don't know, three or four times now but this is the first time with the Green Mountain Gold Trap so I'll get set up somewhere right over in there do some digging, I'll let you know why I'm here in a minute other than gold So you can see this is a nice inside bend right here. River goes up in that way and then goes around the corner. But I did some testing down here the other day, right there to be exact. And I was getting into some more coarse black sands. So I'm seeing black sand over in here, pockets of it right there. Nice bit right there all through here in between rocks so what I'd like to do is kind of start digging out in here work my way in and chase this bedrock now my guess is it's going to be rather deep the bedrock anyway it's you can see how it kind of goes right straight down and I'll uh, I'll give you an idea in a sec here as to why I believe that Okay, I was just down there. This tree goes down like this, and that's the root system for it. We used to come down this path, a friend of mine dug here, and I would stand in the nook of this tree right here, and we had to set up rocks on this side down below to get down in the hole that he had dug. Bedrock is a good seven feet down from that, that nook right here. And he had this whole area all the way through here dug right down to bedrock. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. But he did really, really well here. Now all this material was deposited about three years ago when we had a storm come through. It was in the spring. Of course, we had spring melt off and a, and a storm. And it ripped out a section of land. Some of you have seen it in other videos I've posted and changed the course of the river upstream a bit. And it redeposited gold in areas that we had totally cleaned out, dug out like he did here. We totally dug it down to bedrock and took all the gold out of there. Well, it redeposited just as much, if not more gold. So this gravel bar, which is extremely, extremely bony, meaning big boulders, is gonna have more gold in it. And of course, then you've got this drop down here. Just drops right down. So that's why I want to dig down there. And that's why I believe the bedrock is as deep as it is. Let me get set up, start doing some digging. All right, so I'm not sure how much more video footage I'm gonna shoot. I mean, it just doesn't seem worth it. I mean, I know some of you like to watch the channel. I'll still continue to shoot footage of the Green Mountain Gold Trap when I, when I want to talk about that and explain things. But for me to shoot footage of just being out here prospecting, people don't watch the videos. I mean, algorithms clearly show that. People come in, they leave a comment, and then they leave. So it's just not worth my time. I mean, if I start to see view time go up, watch time go up, then, then I'll continue to post, but pretty much this is a farewell, I mean, not farewell completely, but I don't know, I just, I come here to have fun and, and find gold, and shooting footage takes time, any of you that, that actually shoot footage and post content on YouTube, you know that, but uh, I don't know, time will tell, I'll continue to try and see, I mean, I've shortened my my intro videos, I tried putting out shorter video footage and still people people aren't watching. It's so, what's the sense? But anyway, I'm into some pretty good black sands right now. I'll let you see it on the skid plate and we'll see what happens today. Get you all in a while.
was digging just beyond my bucket right in there and ran for quite a while and did a clean out and there was only like maybe 10 15 pieces in there so I came over here out a little bit further a little bit coarser black sand as you're seeing on the, the skid plate but uh, see what happens from here and Remy ended up showing up he's running his I believe it's a bazooka gold trap that's a bazooka isn't it it's a grizzly oh, it, grizzly I think that's the yeah he actually found it <laughs> thank you mortal winner yeah yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's the bazooka. He's modified it some, but he's got good flow down here. I'm battling with not very good flow up there. Uh, water's been surging on us. Yeah. So. What's your YouTube channel, Remy? Uh, Whipple Creek Racing. Uh, Whipple Creek Racing. Okay. That's uh, this year we're starting with drag bike, so we're gonna be putting the snowmobile engine in a Honda. 750 frame, and we'll be going to the Pro ET class. Hopefully, we can make it mid April. Yeah. So, nice. I'm excited. So. Be fun. Yeah. Love to see more people over and subscribe and stuff. Yeah. Just have to say, this guy right here has me amazed. This still to this day, it's been over a year. I know this guy now. I can sit here and watch this thing. Day after day, just watch it, be amazed at how well this works. <laughs> I'm sitting here with this junk piece of doo doo here, and you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm a little envious, but he does a good job. Well, thank you. All right, let me get back to digging. All right, we're done for the day. Remy's panning back his last little bit right now. I've already got mine panned back, so back to the sack, show you what we got.